This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Holtas, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's mid-July 2021 and version 3 beta is out. This is Jinx's F117A Nighthawk DCS World mod. I'll put the download links in the description, obviously. So let's see the things that he's added. EFM, external flight model, still very much in progress. It's not the nicest feeling, it kind of steps between, rather than being super smooth, it steps between stages. I, I guess maybe you can't tell uh, by looking at this, but it's a very interesting flight model. However, it is work in progress, and uh, so we'll leave him to get on with it. Weapons, connectors, realignment. Early wing vapor, still work in progress. Controllable lighting system. Escape. Adjust controls, F117 subcategory lighting we have now. You can bind beacon light, floodlight, landing lights, meme light, which is my favorite. We'll have a look at that. Navigation lights, panel lights, and taxi lights. Let's go and try meme light. Meme light, engage. Wouldn't make it that stealthy, would it, Simba? They would still never see it coming. <laughs> Cockpit gauge is functional except altitude. We've got the angle of attack meter there in degrees, presumably. We've got our speedo there in knots. Uh, we've got a primary ADI there. We've got our VSI or VVI there, vertical speed indicator. Barometric altimeter, apparently not working at the moment. HSI there. Uh, 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 radar altimeter there. Backup ADI there. What else have we got? Uh, oxygen supply there and there. I don't know why it's got two. And a massive accelerometer there because we do pull a lot of 9G turns in this uh, aircraft. New menu image. Possible to switch between the community uploaded liveries. Rearmament menu, select livery, pa pa pa. Loads of liveries. Optimized external 3D model. I'm not sure what's actually changed on the 3D model, but everything looks you know, pretty top notch, to be honest. Let me know what you think. Such a sexy aeroplane. Collision model. I can only apologise for the years of good service for this plane. <laughs> well, well it, it collides with things, certainly, and blows up. Uh, okay. Early drag shoot implementation. We now have this command. Drag shoot toggle is work in progress, obviously, as you'll see. But if I press the button, boom! Drag shoot. No drag shoot. Drag shoot. No drag shoot. Corrected position of targeting screen. 7 for air to ground mode. O for the uh, flare or the T pod. Boom. And you can see we've got it in that center now. Early Easter egg implementation. I haven't found out what this is yet, so let me know if you find it. AI will not target or shoot at Nighthawk no matter what the altitude. Modeled new intakes. Ooh, new intakes. Known issues. Ejecting will cause DCS to crash. It happens with some of the other mods at the moment. It's very annoying. Some of the animations may not be seen with other multiplayer clients. External flight model stops working sometimes if you crash the aircraft then respawn. I noticed that. It can clash with other mods. I mean, that's a problem with all mods, unfortunately. Nose wheel can clip through the ground on hard landings. HUD is temporarily an SU-25 placeholder while they make a custom one. And finally, let's have a look at some new weapons. Rearmament menu, a whole load of new weapons. We have two stations, one and two. And look at all them. Now, some of them are really stupid. Like, 51, just in that one bomb bay, of which there are two, 51 Mark 82s, or 51 Mic 117s. Now, I don't know anything about anything, as you all know, valued viewers. I'm almost certain that you can't fit... 102 750 pound bombs on but that's just me uh loads of other cool stuff and my favorite is bu -bu 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 -bum, gbu 28 which we'll go and drop in a minute a 5000 pound laser guided penetrator bomb who doesn't want that in their life also we've got the rn24 and the rn28 now russian nuclear bombs now obviously it couldn't carry them but could this thing actually carry any type of nuke i never thought it could but if you guys know well, more than me, which you almost certainly will do. Let me know what you think. So, I'm going to put a 5,000 pounder on. Just to show you dropping it. 5,000 pounder. 
Uh, and here we've got our lightning pod, which is actually the Shkaval from the SU-25. That's how it's uh, modelled. Phantasmagoria Elint pod, again from SU-25. And some other pods here that I haven't actually tried, but presumably just do the same thing as the Elint and the targeting pod. We're going to take the lightning targeting pod. Also, let's take a chance to drop a laser-guided bomb now. For some reason, I could not get it working in the previous version of this Jinx's mod. I don't know, maybe I was doing something wrong, but there you go. So we're just going to use the controls. In fact, we're just going to do it as if we were dropping a TV-guided bomb from an SU-25 of all the same controls. And it's not a fire-and-forget TV type. It's a type that has to be illuminated by our teapod all the way down to hitting. So, 7 for air to ground. O for our teapod on. We're going to use our slew commands to slew our teapod down and find a target that building there is big and juicy let's press target lock on it ping move it about a bit more okay we've already got our bomb selected automatically we are going to travel uh, full power until this needle here or pointer gets below our max there and above our min there as soon as we are past that we're going to press and hold the weapon fire don't wait for launch authority just do it so Press and hold. Launch. One bomb away. Press and hold again. Two bombs away. Pause it there. That automatically engages the LR Laser Ranger, which it uses in this mod as a laser designator. Now all we have to do is fly so that we do not lose track of this guy here with our teapod or our shkaval. The way we do that is to ensure we travel at an attitude at which this pointer here does not go below that mark there. So we want to travel so that this point here is in this lower section of it there but it doesn't go off the bottom so if you watch what i mean i come off the power and glide down a bit you see where that needle will get lower and lower and lower and i'm just gonna pull push the stick forward a bit if i need it to go up a bit so it's going down now the needle fine and we're just got to do this until both bombs hit it's gonna be five thousand pounds of bombs uh, sorry five thousand pound bombs two times hitting that building in a minute which i'm sure you all want to see as long as we do this we will retain the track um, with our, our kind of pseudo shkval dropping from quite high so this may take a while we can see our altitude on the teapod I'm going to put my uh, air brake out I'm just going to check these bombs are because they're taking a lot longer than usual uh, uh, uh. they're tracking there they are boom and the building's gone down and I'm pull out so you can do that from a higher altitude uh, so you'd have to get so close down to the ground but that is how we're going to drop our laser guided bombs and some air to air refueling we couldn't get air to air refueling working in the last version don't know why but in this version let's give it a go apparently it's working so controls we're going to use are of course communication menu if you've got easy comms turned on which you i guess probably will do if you're into mods and left control r for refueling bay so tanker on the nose there let's communicate with communication menu tanker Intend to refuel. One, one. Power on. One, one. Visibility not great. One, one. Oh, that's good. Let's go for a merge. Okay, let's see if I can get my thing open. So left control and Romeo. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> Zap. Zap. That's pretty cool. I'll give you that. Right, Simba, any advice for me at this point? Godspeed and do what the tanker says. Visibility is not the greatest. So I would fly the boom straight through the body of your pilot. I don't know. I wonder if that circle is trying to tell me something. I bet it is. He's reaching for me. Oh my god, it's so hard. But the problem is, I set the tanker so fast, valued viewers, I've got, I'm literally on full power to accelerate. It's problematic at best. Contact. Yeah, I made contact, me! You're taking fuel. <laughs> I took a bit of fuel. You know what? Uh, I uh, set him a bit out of parameters there. I was on pretty much full power, but it is technically possible. I did take on about a kilo of fuel. That's it, pretty much for the roundup of the uh, latest version. Anything to add, Simba? Uh, Jinx is and his team steady at work on it, and uh, they're making good progress. Hope you enjoyed that, and see you later.